You have a skeleton inside you. That's what your bones are called when they are all joined together. The framework of the human body, the skeleton, the muscles, and the skin, is a strong yet flexible construction. Your skeleton gives shape to your body. Specialized bones protect vital internal organs. The skull, for example, encases the brain, while ribs and sternum shield the heart and lungs. In addition to serving as a fortress, the bones function. As a factory, marrow inside the bones produce essential blood components, the blood cells. There is cartilage between most of your bones. Cartilage is softer than bone. It keeps bones from rubbing against each other. The muscles too. Play a variety of roles. Muscles attached to the skeleton, skeletal muscles, are either banded or striated, whereas muscles of the internal organs are smooth. A third muscle type, called cardiac muscle, is found only in the heart. Bones fit together at joints. Some joints, like those in your skull, do not move. Other joints, like in your legs, do move. The third element of your framework, the skin, has two main jobs: to interpret the outside world. And to protect the body. How many bones are there in the body? Babies are born with three hundred and fifty soft bones, but many of the bones fuse together as the baby grows. For this reason, a typical adult skeleton has only two hundred and six bones. Together, these weigh about nine kilograms. Bones are of many shapes and sizes. The smallest bone, known as stirrup or stapes, found in the middle ear, is just millimeters long. The biggest bone, the femur, represents about twenty-five percent of the body height. The skull, seemingly a single bone, is in fact made of twenty-nine bones. Your bones are hard; they are harder outside, and less harder inside. Some bones, like those in your legs, are hollow, like tubes. These hollow spaces contain bone marrow. Bone marrow is made up of tissues: fat, blood vessels, and cells that make new blood cells for your body. Body uses minerals from the bones. Whenever it needs them, bones grow thanks to the well-coordinated play of two types of cells, called osteoblasts and osteoclasts. Osteoblasts produce new bone tissue, and osteoclasts dissolve the old tissues. 
so the bones keep their basic shape as they get bigger. This continuous and simultaneous construction and reabsorption of bone tissue is called bone remodeling. The skeletal system consists of many separate bones. Most bones are held together at joints by flexible tissue. Joints are necessary since bones are too rigid to bend without causing damage. All movements that change the positions of the body occur at joints. Depending on their structure or function, joints are of different types. The joint between the thumb and the wrist looks like two saddles put together and is known as a saddle joint. In a ball and socket joint, the knob-like head of one bone fits neatly into the hollow of another bone. Example, hip joint. Hinge joint allows movement of bones in only one direction. The knee and elbow is a hinge joint much like the hinge of a door. The knee joint is the largest joint in the body. Pivot joint is a ring-shaped joint where movement of bones is limited to a single rotation. In the pivot joint, rounded surface of one bone fits into the ring of another bone. Your body is filled with muscles. The human body has about 650 muscles responsible for movement. Even the smallest motion requires at least two muscles working in opposition. For instance, when the arm bends, the muscles on the inside of the arm contract, while the muscles on the outside relax. When the arm straightens out, the outside muscles contract, and the inside muscles relax. Muscles that bend a joint are called flexors, and those that straighten a joint are called extensors. Our body has three different types of muscles. Smooth muscle, cardiac muscle, and skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscles are held to the bones with the help of special connector pieces between bone and muscle called tendons. The tendon in your ankle is called the Achilles tendon. The muscles in your face help you wink and smile and make funny faces. We can control some of our muscles, but others like our heart do their jobs without us thinking about them at all. Skeletal muscles are attached to our bones and work with them to give our body power and strength. They are made up of long cylindrical fibers and are controllable. Smooth muscles are not linked to bones and are usually in sheets or layers. They control automatic or involuntary movements because our brain and body tell these muscles what to do without our even thinking about it. Like those of the digestive system, lungs or bladder. Muscles in your stomach mix and mash your food. Muscles in your chest help you to breathe. The heart muscle, called the cardiac muscle, 
works all by itself. It is a thick muscle that contracts to pump blood out to all parts of the body and relax to let blood back in. The biggest and strongest muscles are in our back, near the spine. Movement Run Jump Stretch Bend You can do all these things because you have muscles. Muscles exert force by contracting or making themselves shorter. Above all, muscle contraction requires energy. The body extracts this energy from the nutrients in food and stores it in a special chemical, adenosine triphosphate, ATP, for later use. For this reason, ATP is known as the energy currency for cells. The energy stored in the ATP is released whenever a nerve instructs a muscle to contract. The human leg is a system of muscles and joints, structured to bear steady pounding and flexing for a lifetime. The massive thigh bone, or femur, the knee joint, and the heavy muscles of the thigh and calf make the leg both strong and flexible. 